Hello, family and friends. Today we're going to look at Joshua chapter 2, verse 8 to 11. It says this Before the man lay down, she came up to them on the roof and said to the man, I know that the Lord has given you the land, and that the fear of you has fallen upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land melt away before you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea before you when you came out of Egypt, and what you did to the two kings of, of the Amorites who are beyond the Jordan, to Sihon and Og, whom you devoted to destruction. And as soon as we heard, we heard it, our hearts melted, and there was no spirit left in any man because of you. For the Lord your God, He is God in the heavens above and the earth on the earth beneath. Amen. So here Joshua sent two spies to spy out Jericho, and they stayed in Rahab the prostitute's house. And when the king of Jericho found out about um, Joshua's two spies, he sent men to capture them, but Rahab helped them escape. And she repeatedly said, Our hearts melted. Meaning, um, everyone in Jericho was in fear and despair. They all lost hope um, and, and courage as they heard the news that the God of Israel, God in the heavens above and on the, on the earth beneath, was coming against them. You know, Jericho was a very thriving city. It was a fortress with massive high stone wall all around them. But when they heard what God has done in and through Israelites, parting the Red Sea, destroying the Amorites' kings, and all that, they all lost courage and, and, and fell in utter despair because they knew that they wouldn't be able to stand a chance against God of Israel. You know, last Sunday, um, I talked about how our trust in God and, and His promises for this season will open up doors for us to partner with Him in creating incredible victories of our lifetime. It means that what you do today, what you do every day, um, uh, no matter how big or how small it may be, we're stepping closer to see God's victories through our trust and our faith and obedience. But the challenge is, or at least for me, is that we don't know uh, when we will see it or if um, we will ever be able to see it at all. You know, we wonder what we do today would actually matter. Like what we do today, you know, the small things that we do um, or, or anything would actually do anything to help us get closer to what God has prepared for us. But it does. It does matter. It does help us because how you trust God today will unlock the hearts of people tomorrow, no matter how impossible it might seem to us right now. You know, the spies probably didn't think that they would hear these words of Rahab that day when they were picking up manna in the morning or praying alone, wrestling with how they would ever win a battle against their enemy the very next day. But they trusted God, following His commandments, even though it didn't make any sense to them, holding on to God's promises, even though it wasn't promising in, in different moments. They held on and trusted God with everything that they have. And on a, on a day, just like any other day, just you know, on a day that, that um, was just like the day before, they saw how God used it to change the world. And I want to encourage you and I today, let's hold on to the promises that God has spoken over us. You know, let's continue to trust God with everything, um, even when it doesn't look promising at times. You know, I don't know how or I don't know when, but we will see God using your trust, your faith, your obedience, your service um, today to change the world tomorrow. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, give us strength to trust you with everything that we have today for the things that will glorify your name tomorrow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.